Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another one of my Mythic Mods tutorials. Today, we are covering the threat mechanic. That's right. It's been asked several times and you guys have been waiting a while and I apologize, but we're finally here. The threat mechanic. So, before we get started, as always, make sure to, uh, if you haven't already, hop in into my Discord channel. Lots of good stuff going on, giveaways, community content, really cool showcases, all that good stuff going on constantly. So if you haven't, uh, if you haven't joined already, make sure to go ahead and do so. And well, let's go ahead and get started. So first off, like always, you are going to need your mob. So here I have my threat mob, literally exactly the same as you see in every other tutorial of mine. Um, I went ahead and added a new thing here because trigger is, or not trigger, sorry. Um, placeholders, target.threat is kind of, it's kind of weird. So you have to use trigger.threat when, um, when using like on interact apparently. I tried using target, but whenever I did, it just came up in chat as target.threat rather than, you know, my threat level as mushroom status. So I don't know. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to get that out of the way real quick. So that's that's why I have this going on here, so I can go ahead and tell me, uh, you know, how much threat I have. So I'm gonna go ahead and untick that. Down here is literally just the same thing. It's literally just a copy and paste of this. So don't you don't have to worry too much about that. But let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you are going to need to add a thing here called threat tables. So we're gonna go down to below the options, and we're gonna type in modules, two spaces here, or four spaces here, threat table, true. Okay, so this is gonna allow our mob to keep track of who all has done damage to it, or what all. And for the sake of this demonstration, excuse me, we are going to set up custom AI. So what we're gonna do a AI target, selectors zero clear one we're just gonna do other faction monsters actually we're just gonna do monsters in general that should be all right uh because threat is basically um it's generally used for one mob versus a lot of players but since i'm only one guy covering this uh, I'm gonna have a bunch of these dummies just standing around so that way we can show it that way because it's gonna work exactly the same So yeah, let's just uh, let's go ahead and keep keep the train rolling here So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna reload And I'm gonna spawn them in <clears throat> Okay, so this is our guy here Now I know he's set to not target me but I want to go ahead and show you. If I right-click him, oh yeah, I have a fancy message set up just to make things clearer. Uh, threat level zero. Threat is entirely based on how much damage you've done, as opposed to how many times you've hit them. So if I hit him once, oh he's gonna attack me back now. Huh. No monsters around. So it did, or by default, I actually have one threat because I. Never mind. I guess I'm doing two damage. So, um. Yeah, so as you can see, it's based on how much damage we do. So if I crit, hit him, my damage goes way up. Apparently, I'm really strong for some reason. Oh my lord. Usually that should be doing two damage, not three. And this should be doing one, not two. But, you know, it's fine. Either way, you guys can see that the damage is going up, or the threat is going up based on how much damage I did to him. So if I were to grab an axe, that number should jump from 21 to 30. So if I do I... Diamond Axe, one. Ah, uh, 31, whatever. It's, I don't know what's going on with my server, why I'm like suddenly more buff than usual, but eh, it's all right. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna set up um, the mobs and I'm gonna go ahead and show you like pretty much how the threat is going to work. So one thing I wanna do actually first is we're gonna type in a new thing here, and I forgot to mention, I have all these modes added down here so that way you guys can like see what you, all you can do with the threat mechanic because in the manual, currently all you can see is like, well, pretty much all you can see is this. Threat amount equals, and then whatever number. That's really all you can see, but 
Um, recently, in the latest two updates, they added a bunch of modes. Remove and Reset, which are literally the same thing. Multiply, Set, Divide, and Force Top. So, what I can do is I'm going to... Let's see. I guess what I can do is... Uh, I'll show you the Multiply. So, we're going to do Multiply mode equals multiply and by we're gonna do by two because I'm gonna go I'm gonna show you guys this one gets really crazy like really fast so 41 oh, I forgot to add a trigger my bad okay now as you can see it's going up a lot and it's multiplying by three instead of two. Something is off with my server today, apparently. It's like adding literal it's adding one to literally everything I do. Damage, triggers, whatever the case. But basically what it's gonna do is it's gonna take your current threat and it's gonna multiply it by the amount that you put here. It works the same way with divide. Now if I were to do set, it will force my threat to only be Two. Oh, it's not actually setting it apparently, it's just adding. That's interesting. Something must be going on with my server that's not allowing it because, yeah, this is, uh, yeah. So, what we're gonna do here, we're just gonna go ahead and reset it. And to, um, when you do reset mode, you don't have to, you don't have to add the amount. All you need is mode equals reset. Let me reload here and hopefully my number won't be 10,001 anymore. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now it's set to 2,000, uh, sorry, it's set to zero. It's literally set to zero. Uh, so you can see that reset and remove, they, I mean, they literally do the same thing. Now, what I'm gonna go and do is I'm gonna spawn in a bunch of dummies, and actually, I'm just gonna spawn in one, just to show you another thing here. So, threat, threat dummy. Okay, so I need to kill off my threat mob here, because he's currently targeting me. Kill threat mob okay so if I spawn him back in threat mob okay so he's showing my threat and now if I make him do this um, at target we're gonna we're gonna just set this to amount equals two at target on interact uh, we reload here this is just going to show you how the force top works here. So, of course, he's, uh, uh, let me do target, see if that does anything. No, okay, so see, this is what I was talking about earlier, it just says target out threat. Um, but essentially what he's going to be doing is his threat towards that mob should theoretically be eight right now. So if I do threat, um, let's see. Mode equals force top at trigger on damaged, and I reload. That should theoretically put me at the very top. Oops, I need to switch that back to trigger. There we go. Yeah, so I guess that mob's threat was pretty high, but now mine's higher because. As you can see, it's like calculating my threat now, which is going up by very odd number amounts. So I don't know what's going on with that, but it's pretty much forcing me to the top. And you could do this with a random thing here too. So if I just remove all this, I'm gonna set up a skill here. We're gonna call it random target, uh, which um, actually I'll just explain in a minute. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do at EIR, excuse me, radius equals 30, and uh, ignore players. Okay, so we're gonna do that on timer of 60. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna come over here, we're gonna go into our skill file, that's what this is, is my skill file. And we are gonna go and set up that uh, random target. Okay, so now we're gonna do skills. And we are going to do a thing where we do, um, let's see, Threat mode equals force top. Okay. 
let's see. What I need to do is I need to force myself onto that threat table because otherwise mobs are just not really going to climb very much. And then we're going to add some other stuff to it real quick. So we're going to do effect, particle, particles, particles, particle equals flame, yada yada, your amount. And we're just going to do sound entity dot gen dot generic dot explode. Okay. So one thing we need to go back and do, and I forgot to do, we need to type in sorting equals random. Okay, so now it'll just pick a random mob to do this to every, uh, every three seconds. So now let's go ahead and reload. We're gonna spawn in more of our thread dummies. Oops, I forgot to set a limit. Okay, so one more thing. Limit equals one. And we're gonna add some speed to that. Yes, S equals one. Okay, now then. Once it goes through. <sighs> yeah, yeah, ignore limit. Maybe it's sword equals random. Okay, let me let me try that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so sorry, it was sort equals random, not sorting. So, if we go back to it, that's the mob he should be currently targeting. And he keeps picking that same one for some reason. There we go. So as you can see, he's like, he's, uh, oh wait, rain, nobody asked for you to come on. Ugh! Sorry, it's raining on my parade. But um, so, um, anyway, you can see that he's picking random mobs now. And like, uh, if I actually gave him movement speed, he would be turning and looking at them and walking towards them, which I guess what I should do is I'm gonna set this on a timer of 100, which is every five seconds, and I'm gonna set give him his movement speed back. So I'm gonna reload, kill uh, threat mob, because I don't want to kill all of them. MMM spawn threat mob. Okay, so now he's kind of confused. I should probably give him <laughs> Uh, goal selectors, AI, goal selector, uh, zero melee attack, okay, now I gotta do the exact same thing here, oh, never mind, now he's going for it, uh, okay, so if he was targeting players, in theory, he would be turning around and going to the next one, but since all their threats are, like, at zero, let me do that, see if it changes anything. No, he just really hates this guy, apparently. <laughs> Come on, do something. I don't know why he stopped walking, that's kind of strange. Okay, so now that's back at the top. And now that guy should be at the top. I don't know, it's kind of funky, but I promise it does work with uh, players, though. So, you know, if you need to, if you want your mob to pretty much change um, targets every time he uses threat, this is essentially what you're going to use, is mode equals force top, and um, I recommend adding like a delay in between too, so that way he'll like, I don't know, if you do like delay, maybe 20, and then, I don't know, random target to skills, and then type this here, skill s equals random tar target to, at, let's see, probably at target. Okay, so now this would pretty much, in theory, would pick a random target to start attacking after switching his threat. So I reload, I don't even know, his highest threat's 12, so, oh look at that, he's actually attacking now. <laughs> And of course, he's picking on the same guy. What do you know? Wow, he just can't get enough. All right, if it keeps up, I'm gonna think something's bugged. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill him all. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, sorry that was kind of like, it's hard to explain threats without just testing it yourself, but there's so much that you can do with them and that's essentially how threat works. 
Um, essentially, you, it, by default, it's however, like whoever does the most damage to a mob is going to be on the top of the threat table, therefore they're going to get chased or targeted by the mob. However, you can now switch that with the new modes that we were given. Give an add, remove, multiply, divide, set, reset, and force top. So that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. I hope that at least clarified a little bit. I know that was, uh, it didn't really come out as clear as I was hoping it would. Uh, it's kind of hard, kind of a hard mechanic to explain, but you know, I, I think you got the gist of it though. And if not, you're always welcome to ask in the community discord. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more future content. You know, if this inspired you, like, comment down below if there's anything else you want to see covered. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to see what you come up with in the future.